Does OLED burn-in actually exist, or is it a myth? Tons of our viewers are worried about burn-in on laptops with OLED displays. So I asked the team to investigate, potentially breaking a laptop in the process. Burn-in occurs when static content is left on an OLED screen for extended periods of time. Over time, the pixels that are continuously illuminated will lose their brightness. This creates a dimming effect where some pixels look darker on screen. Keep in mind, OLED displays work by illuminating the pixels that display white or colored content. Black is the off state. This means burn-in will occur on static content that is light in color, not dark. For example, the ribbon on top of Microsoft Word or your browser's tabs. Burn-in is irreversible and permanent if it occurs. To test whether burn-in was likely to occur, we acquired a ZenBook 14 from 2023 with an OLED display. We then created a specific image that uses multiple different colors, bright whites, hard lines, and text. This enabled us to determine whether burn-in occurs on different types of content. We then left the laptop on that image at full brightness for 100 days. This was about 2,400 hours of static usage, with a few check-ins in between. Basically, this is an absolute worst case scenario by never changing the content on the screen and never turning off the laptop's display. Here's what we found. After cycling through solid colors on the screen, we noticed parts of our static image were retained. It was subtle, and you did really have to look for it, but it was there. It was most noticeable on top of a blue or gray color. For many of the other colors, the retention was barely noticeable. To ensure this wasn't just ghosting, which is not permanent, we ran the laptop's screensaver for 24 hours to refresh the pixels. As expected, this did not help. What you'll notice is that the burn-in is the most visible where the content was white on our test image. This makes sense as the pixels are in their fully illuminated state. In the right conditions, I can basically read Just Josh Tech on a blank gray screen. On that same blank gray screen, we can see that the red, green, and yellow bars that we were showing on our test image now cause some slight yellowing of the display where they were previously shown. The hard lines where the colors meet on our test image were also noticeable. It is hard to capture this on camera as it is really subtle. That's why you may not notice it on the footage we have shown you. So here is some footage where we have applied a filter evenly across the entire image to help you see it. In summary, we were able to cause burn-in intentionally on this laptop's display, after leaving a static image on screen for a long period of time with the display at full brightness. Our findings do align with the results we saw in other videos and articles across the web. We will be linking our favorite ones, including the one from Monitor Unboxed, in the description so you can find out more about this issue. The one thing, though, where I feel a laptop is significantly different from a desktop monitor is that many people do close their displays frequently, so they are giving their pixels rest more often. Also, many people use their laptops for personal use as well as business, whereas with an OLED monitor, it may be in your office only, and most of the time, you are working with applications that have large areas that are static and will increase your risk of burn-in. The good news is there's a lot you can do to prevent burn-in. One, use a screensaver with a reasonably short display timeout. I'd recommend anywhere between 10 to 30 minutes. Many manufacturers like Asus do include a screensaver to refresh the pixels by default on their laptops. Two, use dark mode. This places less stress on the pixels. Three, use an automatic logout screen. This will change what's displayed on your laptop and also make it more secure if you walk away from it. Four, set the laptop's display to go into standby mode if the device hasn't been used for a couple of minutes. Five, play computer games regularly as they use a lot of dynamic content. This one is clearly a bit of a joke, but there is some truth to it. And please, remember that even in a worst case scenario like ours, the burn-in was barely noticeable. Josh had trouble seeing it, and he's extremely nitpicky. So we don't think you should be concerned about buying an OLED laptop if you adhere to our suggestions and use your laptop like a normal person, where you are frequently switching content and on occasion opening and closing the display. If you want to shop for a laptop with or without an OLED screen, check out our website for all the laptops we recommend for different types of users, as well as where to go to get the best deals on them. If you want to support the channel to create more videos where we potentially break laptops like this one, consider becoming a Patreon supporter or YouTube member. Or something free you can do is just hit that like button, get subscribed, and share this video. Not only does it help the channel grow, but it makes our dearest mothers very proud. Till next time, go do something awesome with your day, and we will catch you later.